the Chicago Cubs. Brought to you by Major League Baseball. He's never going to overpower you. Throws about 88 miles an hour, but also a plus changeup and plus cut. Try to do, we can try to hit home runs off these guys. They're way too good, and they know how to change speeds and use the corners. Okay. Final wild card standings. Boy, the Marlins today got a six-run eighth inning. They beat Atlanta. It is warm, and the wild card chase is heating up. Diamondbacks within a game and a half. Dean starts. They need him to deliver here today, bud. He's pitching a lot of big games over the course of his. Uh, Gabriel Moreno is highlighted. This is provided by Bob Renly and E.D. Marshall. You might as Jewelers. well get your runs saved. Rates Gabriel Moreno under this one. Ian Happ is out on one pitch at a good pace for a 27 pitch complete game. That's very efficient. <laughs> Gotta be efficient. Last night, one for four, a single in the sixth against Brandon Font. There's a strike. Line for Corbin Carroll, long way to go for Corbin, but the point each of Zach Davies' last three starts. Yeah, you mentioned the right on the corner. How about that? He spotted. Morrell moves up to third in the lineup. He hit that same 23 homers in 67. Runs batted in. It's curious that he spent so much time at DH. Can play second, can play third, but he's been primarily a DH here down the stretch. It wouldn't surprise me a bit to see them try to move Christopher Morrell over to the corner. Two on Morrell. Cutter got away. Now with L. He singled and homered last night. He's hit home runs in four of his last eight. Boy, he is really dotting that. Three first. Diamondbacks coming up against Kyle Hendricks. All with the Cubs. He just beat the Diamondbacks last Sunday in Chicago. And Carroll in right field leads it off. It's a hack of a fastball and it. The edges of the strike zone. They did tweak his delivery. He missed the rehab program. He's been as effective as ever since he's come back. He did. 2 2. Corbin doesn't chase that change up and he's. Foul tip. Highlight Ian Happ out there in left field. We mentioned in Chicago, he's played everywhere defensively for the 11 of them. <laughs> so don't hit it to left. No. Can tell. Marte and likely lured his 11 of his 13 games this month. That one sailed away. Well, Hendrick, Hendrick, a 360 batting, batting average, average with a couple, with a couple of, home of home runs. Sinker is in there first. Curveball caught the corner. Marte takes off. Fan hits it right at the shortstop. Swanson there. Stay out of the double. A whole bunch of them lately. Well, we'll see if Christian did well. Hendricks working. Diamondbacks have missed Christian. Lays off the change up. As you've probably already figured out, it's fastball, sinkers. Hey, fam. That one trying to get down. Oh, and all weekend long here. At and fans anywhere in Arizona can get your tickets online at dbacks.com slash 50. Fitting Cody Bellinger leads off the second against Zach Davies coming off an 11. Thought the Diamondbacks were going to Just off the edge at two and. Right to Christian Walker, the gold lever calls off consecutive 20 homer season, playing outstanding defense at shortstop. Defensive run saved, outs about above average. Low strike, call. a lot of ground, strong arm. He has really put between. Foul at third, there's a chance. Fast. <laughs> two and two. He's all color coordinated down. Wristbands, the whole thing. Jumped on that changeup. That's all you have. Hey, McDonald's is hiring right down the street. We'll see you later. I this is empty. New career. Say Suzuki 
at the beginning of August was here's David Ross the skipper but uh, the benching if you want to use that has really worked Suzuki has hit over 350 last night 3 1 he loses Suzuki first base run singled and was hit by a pitch from the leadoff spot working those it just inside a little too much cut on and there he goes Hawkman fouls that one away it's one and two we got a Suzuki holds this time fastball upstairs it's two. Diamondback be five of the game. There goes Suzuki again. And Corbin Carroll is there. Well, last night Alec got a rare start against the left-hander. It's Justin Steele in the sixth. I think now tonight he leads off the second against Kyle Hendrick. Opposite way when he gets something up on. Well, that one's a little short. Hendrick cleans it up. Tonight got things started right away. That two-out, three-run homer in the first. The thing about a th chase that change up out there. Behind the plate. There's a bloop out to shallow center. Talkman coming in though. Pretty good numbers against Hendricks historically. Struck out in his only at was a triple, a couple of homers. 10 for 23. That's fouled away. <laughs> Her ball up and away. That is the Kyle Hendricks changeup. Pretty much. I mean, he might be the ultimate. Let's see if the D backs. Zachman, left center, comes scoreless so far. This is a big series. Auto today. They lost the first game 9 to 5. Ezekiel Tovar had three hits and four RB. Marlins already won. Jazz Chisholm hit a grand slam. They beat the Braves as Davies cleans up that. I'd expect the starting pitchers for that Giants series are TBA. <laughs> So's the lineup. Wouldn't surprise series. Yeah, that was just one thing that lines up nicely. You got those two. Nick Madrigal, the third baseman. Ball in his. And Madrigal leaves it up in the air for Corbin Carroll. Who climbs up there for Zach Davies. It's because he's trying to be too fine. Uh, he has to be just the ball sinks off the corner drops just below the zone and that's when the pitch count starts in the leadoff spot today. Well, Zach against the Mets in the next two innings. Pitch fourth that finished him off for the night and a broken bat gives his first time up. Mike Napoli was part of that two headed catching tandem they had in uh, 1 0 on Nico Horner. Just foul it there. Another foul at third. Three, three two, there goes Hap. Corbin Carroll's got room right in front of the warning track. I know you know this. Uh, Tori is usually pretty reluctant. To give too much intel on the opposing numbers, so they appreciate his intelligence and his savvy out there. But it was great to hear Tori said it. The same formula for a decade and used it well as Marino gets first look here in the third. Yeah, I went with the uh, Jerry Reed theory. Give me a Dr. Pepper and a Diablo Sand. <laughs> two and two. The snowman swing and a miss. Hendricks gets his set to Cattell Marte back in the first. Here's the number nine man, Geraldo Perdomo, jumps on a first pitch fastball and hits. Crunchy tacos with the purchase of a large drink between four and six the following. Jumps on the first one. Well, oh, that's close. Nice 50 50. Up over $32,000, and it's only the third. This place is. We were well up over 50,000 last night, right to the weekend. We are scoreless after three.